met at IHOP. One of his friends was trying to talk to me and I wasn't interested in him. And then Mario started talking to me and then his friend Dennis was like, oh, don't worry about him. So then I just started talking to Mario. And that's how we met IHOP one day after the club. He was going to school at ULM and I transferred there the next year. I remember, I think it was like the Kevin Hart concert. I think we both attended the event, but I didn't see her there. We went to IHOP with my homeboys. He was actually trying to holler at her and say, uh, and I just heard the background noise. I was like, man, who are you talking to? So I turned around and then, you know how somebody like try to get on you just to, you know, impress a yeah. girl and stuff like that. So he did something like that. I was just like, okay, we we'll play it like that. So I got her, you know, this had happened. He always is so positive, like in every situation he's positive. And if I ever have a problem, he always tries to fix it. He has a big heart. He always sees the best like in every situation. Like I'll be freaking out and Mario's like, this calm down is not that bad or everything happens for a reason or God got it. He wouldn't put you through nothing, you know, that you couldn't handle, so. Her heart, she's a sensitive person. She cares about other people's feelings before hers. She's a good mother and she's gonna be a good wife. One day we were eating at Red Lobster. He said that I love you and he was like, I want to make us official and I want to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Even though we technically were, I was just, you know, playing hard to get or whatever. That's when he said it at Red Lobster. And that's when we made it like our official anniversary. So he said it first. It was like seven years ago. Um, I think I probably said it first over the phone. I think she was supposed to be coming now for Valentine's Day. Cause uh, we were kind of doing like the long distance thing at first. That's when I asked her to be my girlfriend. That's when I told her I love you. I see us growing old together, raising kids. I want at least two more. You know, one more child, probably no more than two total, you know. You know I just imagine just growing old with her, her being in my life forever. Dear Mario, I just want you to know that I love you so, 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 so much. I could not live my life without you. Me and Bryson are so appreciative of you. You are definitely my best friend. I just can't believe I met somebody as good as you. You make me believe that I can do anything. My parents love you. You treat my mom like your mom. You love her and that means so much to me. You make me so happy. And we do have our rough times, but we have a lot of good times. I love you so much. Dear Keisha, I promise to be the best husband I can be and be perfect for each other. I just want you to know that I love you. And I plan on sp spending the rest of my life with you. You're my everything. You know, we've been together seven years. I honestly can't see my life without you. And that's how I knew it was time to make you my wife. I love you. Dear the beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. We just commended the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, in the fear of God. And to this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. If any man can show just cause, while they may not lawfully be joined together, let them now speak, or else hereafter forever hold their peace. All right. Don't start <laughs> nothing, won't be nothing. Uh, 
For be ye well assured that if any persons are joined together otherwise, then as God's word doth allow, their marriage is not lawful. What man doth give away this bride? <laughs> Mario, Keisha, would thou have this man to be thy wedded husband? Would thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance? Would thou obey and serve him? Would thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her? Keep thee only unto him, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live. I do. I do. I'm Mario, I'll take the Keisha, my wedded wife, to have and to hold. From this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poor, for sickness and in health, love and to cherish the bill to us part. According to God's holy ordinance. <laughs> yeah. And there too, try to be my trough. I Keisha, take the Mario, to be married, to have and to hope from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, to cherish, and to love, to death to us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And there too, I give Ty my trough. Be my trough. With this ring, I do win it. And for all my worldly good, I did and die in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I now, John Williams, pronounce that they are man and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Mario, you may now kiss your bride. I present to you now to Mario and Keisha Johnson. Be there for my love. I know he's always there for you. 